Good morning and welcome to Monday morning's 10 minutes of prayer. As we enter this second week of our season of prayer, I pray that God will bless and protect you and your loved ones. The reading this morning is Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Psalm 100 is a psalm of thanksgiving and begins with an exhortation to all of us to praise God and to serve him with gladness. Verse 3, the psalm describes God's people as the sheep of his pasture and that God created us. Again in verse 4 it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. So as we come to prayer this morning, may we give thanks and praise to God for his many blessings. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come humbly into your presence to thank and praise you for the gift of a new day and the blessings you have given to us. Most of all, we thank you and praise you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. We also thank you for the beauty of your creation all around us. May our hearts be filled with joy and praise as we look at the detail in the smallest flower and the grandeur of the greatest mountain range. Father, thank you for our families and friends and ask that you will richly bless them and protect them from the coronavirus. Thank you for our church family and ask that during this prayer season you will bring us together as one in prayer. May we be a witness for you as we serve you in these difficult and challenging times. Father, thank you for our clergy and ask for your blessing, wisdom and guidance for Bishop David, our Rector Terence, our Curate Stuart and our Evangelist Jim as they seek to serve you in the parish, especially during these difficult and uncertain times. We also thank you for the leaders of the different organisations connected to the church and ask for your blessing and protection. Heavenly Father, we pray that the church will be a witness in the community. In Mark chapter 16, you said, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. We pray that this will be the mission of our church and ask that you keep our hearts and minds open so that we willingly seek to touch those who do not know you as their saviour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for wisdom and discernment for those who have the responsibility of leadership, influence and power, both here in our country and worldwide. Bring comfort and peace to all who are suffering, hungry and destitute because of conflict in their countries. Break down the barriers that divide and guide those who search for peace between nations. Father, bless our local government representatives, lead and guide their thoughts in ways of truth, justice and humility. May their decisions reflect true understanding of the needs and fears of all in our society and bring hope and peace for the future. Help them, Father, as they make decisions regarding the coronavirus and pray that with the onset of the new lockdown restrictions, that everyone will play their part. We trust, Lord, that very soon you will bring an end to this worldwide pandemic. Thank you for the recent breakthrough of possible vaccines. Equip the scientists with knowledge and expertise as they continue to perfect these vaccines. We pray that they will be safe and effective. We also ask that plans will be put in place to ensure a coordinated distribution. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. And as we come to pray for the sick, both in our church family and in the wider community, can we take a moment to remember all those known to ourselves who need your healing touch? Merciful Father, we pray for all who need healing, for the sick in body, mind and spirit. Draw near, Lord, and give them hope and courage for today and the days that lie ahead. Take away all fears and anxiety, comfort their pain and surround them with your peace. We pray for all those who care for the sick and infirmed, at home, in hospital, in hospice or nursing homes. Father, bless and protect the NHS. We pray for our doctors, nurses, auxiliary staff, care workers, community workers and all emergency services. Protect them from the coronavirus as they carry out their duties. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who have been bereaved throughout this year. May they find comfort and strength in the knowledge that your loving arms are around them. Father, we bring before you all those who feel lonely, isolated and depressed. Draw close and unfold them in your loving arms. Bring into their lives that perfect peace and gracious comfort that only comes from you. And Father, we think of those families in our community who are struggling to provide food for their families. And with the added pressures of Christmas and the loss of employment due to coronavirus, we pray, Lord, that you will provide for them. We thank you for our food banks and the volunteers who work tirelessly to help provide for these families. May we take time to give what we can to help alleviate some of the pressures. We pray for all the other organisations in our community and throughout the world who provide help and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Father, for our schools, colleges and universities as they adapt to the challenges brought about by the coronavirus. This year has been particularly difficult for both students and teachers. And so we ask for your blessings for all whose education has been disrupted because of COVID-19. We pray for our local schools and colleges, for the students and teachers who have tested positive for the virus and ask that you will heal them. We ask that things will come back uh, to normal very soon. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Although at times, Lord, we feel there is no end to the difficulties and challenges we face, I am reminded of that wonderful hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not, as thou hast been, thy forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand have provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. We ask you, Lord, to walk with us everywhere we go during this week. Help us to keep your word in our hearts that we may not sin against you. Fill us with your spirit, peace and joy that others will see your love in our lives. And so we bring all our prayers together by saying the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. 